Hey, YouTubers. So, I have a special video right now. Yes, a special video right now. I have another dumb, 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 another pie tobacco review. Yes, another pie tobacco review. So, I have this tobacco right here. One sec. Dumb, dumb, dumb. We have Captain Black Dark. Yes, Captain Black Dark, the last Captain Black I will be reviewing, uh, I think for the time being. So this is the last one that my local tobacco shop carries. So they carry white, uh, dark, uh, royal, and gold. So I've reviewed the white, the gold, the royal, now I'm reviewing the dark at long last, the damn dark at long last. Anyway, I have it packed in my, my Master Peraldi pipe. Yes, this is pipe tobacco my pipe. Yes, pipe tobacco my pipe for the dickhead trolls who are wondering. Anyway, the ore bar is on in the background. Sorry about that crap. So I'm curious because I've had Captain Black White numerous times. I've had Captain Black Gold numerous times. I've had Captain Black Royal uh, twice. Now this is actually the first time I've had Dark. I have never tried Captain Black Dark before. It is a Black Cavendish. Yes, a Black Cavendish. I believe the flavor of it is supposedly, I'm not really sure how it works because, you know, flavored tobacco is, is banned in Massachusetts, but there's the whole issue of like, you know, they write you a letter then you can legally sell it. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how that shit works. I'm not exactly sure how that, how that works in general. According to, to, you know, according to something I read, according to something I read, it supposedly has like cocoa and chocolate and vanilla and coffee. But if that's the case, then how are they legally selling it in Massachusetts? Because in Massachusetts or Massachusetts, you know, you can't sell flavored tobacco. So uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works. So please don't quote me. I'm not an expert on the flavoring issue or the ameliorants issue. So let's fire this bad boy up. Here we go. It's also a black Cavendish. So this is a black Cavendish as opposed to a regular Cavendish or a, uh, for example, a Virginia, not vagina, Virginia. Nice throat hit. Typical aromatic, very good smell. Of course, you can't really smell your own secondhand smoke. One more light. There we go. Whoo, smoky. Very silky smooth. Very silky smooth. Almost like linen. I detect a little bit of a chocolate henta. Orburn are sorry. Yeah, a little bit of a chocolate henta. Uh, has a smooth taste. Very mild. Typical of Captain Black. Captain Black is generally very mild. Very, very mild in general. It's fresh, but it's, um, you know, very mild in general. Also the packaging, I, I forgot to mention, has a bunch of warning labels on it. It has uh, uh, two warning labels, one on the side and one here. We don't yet quite have graphic warning labels, but we have on the side and here, it says, warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. It says the same thing there. So if you're not addicted to smoking, please don't start. Yeah, has an interesting taste. 
has kind of a smooth taste, um, smooth, a little bit of a chocolate taste. That's not really why I'm tasting it, maybe a little cocoa. In some ways, this may sound weird, and, I'm, and by no means am I an expert on this, it kind of reminds me in a way of e-cigarettes or vaping. It kind of reminds me in a way of vaping. And now I have not vaped for a long time. I've only tried vaping a handful of times. But it reminds me in a way of a electronic cigarette. It reminds me of that very like, you know, perfumey, almost like aerosol taste. And don't be a smart ass. That doesn't mean I've actually sprayed aerosol in my mouth. You can equate smells and taste in your mind. So um, yeah, it reminds me almost of like an electronic cigarette. Years and years ago, back in July of 2015, I went to a vape shop back when flavored tobacco, flavored, uh, tobacco was legal, and I uh, tried uh, a peach flavored uh, e-liquid in a vaporizer, so, and uh, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Almost that like, super like artificial look like that, it, almost like a cross between that and, hook, and hookah smoke and hookah shisha. The Captain Black uh, uh, tobaccos, uh, they remind me a lot of hookah. You know, big ass hookah, like the big ass, or not hooker, uh, not hooker, but hookah. So uh, they remind me a lot of like a uh, hookah. I went to a hookah bar once in 2010 up in Canada, up in Montreal, Canada, uh, Quebec, Canada. It reminds me a lot of hookah. Just that overpowering, like, almost like sicky sweet, like candy sweet taste. It's not bad. But you can definitely taste almost like a, a molasses, maybe. Maybe a honey, like a molasses or a honey, or like a sugar, like almost like a cane sugar. Almost like a cane sugar in liquid form. Yeah, now that I'm getting to this, the second, the second third of the bowl, it's really syrupy, almost like a maple syrup. Yeah, uh, strength-wise, it's mild. There's no nicotine there. Um, and I've had a smoke today already. I had that subtle of heavy English earlier today. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of um, when I tried vaping back in 2015, uh, vaping. It also reminds me of hookah, so. Uh, I haven't smoked hookah since 2012, and now flavored tobacco is illegal. I mean, this is legal, but uh, this is legal, but I haven't tried uh, hookah since 2012. Yeah, almost that like artificial, like candy-like taste, like candy-like flavor. It's not biting my tongue, which is good. Little harsh in the throat, little gritty on the throat. Uh, not terrible, but a little gritty on the throat. Uh, probably gonna smell wonderful. This garage is probably gonna smell wonderful. 
because most aromatics, you're, again, you're smoking them for the, 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 the flavor, you know, the, the smell around you, not for, repeat, not for your palate. When you smoke aromatics, not that I'm encouraging you, but when you smoke aromatics, you're smoking them for the people around you, not for your own palate. Yeah, so let's get into rating this tobacco. Strength-wise, mild. I detect no strength, no nicotine from this tobacco. I mean, obviously it has nicotine, it has nicotine, but I don't detect any strength. Um, Body-wise, medium. Uh, flavor, pretty artificial, pretty artificial. Reminds me a lot of uh, vaping and also hookah. So, one sec. Nasty, pipe juice. One sec. Ooh, smoky. The um, the room note I would say is pleasant, like most aromatics. It's gonna smell fantastic, you know, fantastic. Produces a lot of smoke. Produces big clouds of smoke. That's where it reminds me a lot of e-cigarettes and vaping and e-juice. It's almost like the people who have like the um, the mods where they're going and going like that. Doesn't burn too hot. It's actually not burning too hot. I mean a little hot, but not too hot. Um, the retrohaling Through the nose, very pleasant, very easy to retrohale. I'll retrohale again. Uh, very easy to retrohale. Little bit of a dry throat feeling, a little bit of a dry throat feeling, but not terrible. Very, very mild. Overall rating for this tobacco, I probably give it about a seven out of ten. Um, it's not bad. I'm not gonna like trash or anything like that. But it's a little bit, it's sicky sweet. It's almost like that candy like hookah taste. Like sicky sweet taste. And you can tell there's a lot of sugar in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so seven out of 10, it's not bad. I've had worse. I've had a lot worse. It's pretty good. It's, um, it doesn't bite. I mean, I'm, I'm getting no tongue bite, which is good. I mean, tongue bite is, a, is an individual thing. Uh, everyone is different. Uh, I mean, some people might get tongue bite from this. Uh, I don't get tongue bite. Uh, um, yeah, so, so it's, it's not bad. Anyway, just tamp this down. Uh, Anyway, have a nice day. Bye-bye.